New Mexico, Wikipedia article audio. New Mexico, Navajo, Yoatohahudso pronounced is a state in the southwestern region of the United States of America. With a population of approximately 2 million, New Mexico is the 36th most populous state. With a total area of 121,590 square miles, it is the fifth largest and fifth least densely populated of the 50 states. It is one of the mountain states and shares the Four Corners region with Utah, Colorado, and Arizona. Its capital and cultural center is Santa Fe, while its largest city is Albuquerque. Due to its geographic location, northern and eastern New Mexico exhibits a colder, alpine climate while western and southern New Mexico exhibits a warmer, arid climate. Etymology Geography Adjacent states Climate Flora and fauna History 1848 – Session of Land 20th Century to Present Demography Population Birth Data Settlements Ancestry Languages Official Language Religion Economy Economic indicators Oil and gas production Federal government Economic incentives State taxes Transportation Road Urban mass transit Rail The economy of New Mexico is dependent on oil drilling, mineral extraction, dryland farming, cattle ranching, lumber milling, and retail trade. As of 2016-17, its total gross domestic product was $95 billion with a GDP per capita of $45,465. A tax haven, New Mexico collects low to moderate personal income taxes on residents and military personnel and gives tax credits and exemptions to favorable industries. Because of this, its film industry has grown and contributed $1.23 billion to its overall economy. Due to its large area and economic climate, New Mexico has a large U.S. military presence marked notably with the White Sands Missile Range. Various U.S. national security agencies base their research and testing arms in New Mexico such as the Sandia and Los Alamos National Laboratories. Freight Passenger Its history has given New Mexico the highest percentage of Hispanic and Latino Americans, and the second highest percentage of Native Americans as a population proportion. Three federally protected Native American tribes the Navajo, Pueblo, and Apache peoples inhabit New Mexico, historically the ancestral Pueblones, Mogollon, and the modern extant Comanche inhabited the state. The largest Hispanic and Latino groups represented include the Hispanos of New Mexico, Chicanos, and Mexican Americans. The flag of New Mexico emphatically features the state's Spanish and Native American origins with the same scarlet and gold coloration as Spain's Cross of Burgundy, along with the ancient sun symbol of the Zia, a Pueblo-related tribe. Aerospace Government and Politics Inhabited by Native Americans for thousands of years before European exploration, it was colonized by the Spanish in 1598 as part of the Imperial Spanish Viceroyalty of New Spain. Contrary to popular belief, the present-day state of New Mexico is not part of, nor is it even named for, the present-day nation of Mexico. In fact, 
New Mexico was so named as early as 1561, whereas the country of Mexico did not receive that name until 1821. It was named Nuevo Mexico after the Aztec Valley of Mexico by Spanish settlers, 223 years before the establishment of the present-day country of Mexico. Being on the periphery of two empires Spanish and Comancheria made settlement and effective political control difficult, even when it became part of Mexico after 1821. New Mexico's long-standing economic ties to the Comanche made integration with Mexico difficult, which helped spark the revolt of 1837 and a growing economic association with the expanding United States. The 1848 Mexican-American War indirectly capitalized on this tension and created the U.S. New Mexico Territory. It was admitted to the Union as the 47th state on January 6, 1912. During the 1940s, Project Y of the Manhattan Project developed and built the world's first atomic bomb and nuclear test, Trinity, in northern and central New Mexico, respectively. New Mexico received its name long before the present-day nation of Mexico won independence from Spain and adopted that name in 1821. Spanish explorers recorded this region as New Mexico in 1563. In 1581, the Chamiscado and Rodriguez expedition named the region north of the Rio Grande San Felipe del Nuevo Mexico. The Spaniards hoped to find wealthy Mexican Indian cultures there similar to those of the Aztec Empire of the Valley of Mexico. The indigenous cultures of New Mexico, however, proved to be unrelated to the Aztecs and were not wealthy. Before statehood, the name New Mexico was applied to various configurations of the U.S. territory, to a Mexican state, and to a province of New Spain, all in the same general area but of varying extensions. At total area 121,699 square miles, the state is fifth largest state of the U.S. and slightly larger than British Isles. New Mexico's eastern border lies along 103 degrees west longitude with the state of Oklahoma, and 2.2 miles west of 103 degrees west longitude with Texas. On the southern border, Texas makes up the eastern two-thirds, while the Mexican states of Chihuahua and Sonora make up the western third, with Chihuahua making up about 90% of that. The western border with Arizona runs along the 109 degrees 03 W longitude. The southwestern corner of the state is known as the Boothiel. The 37 degrees north latitude parallel forms the northern boundary with Colorado. The states of New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, and Utah come together at the four corners in New Mexico's northwestern corner. New Mexico, although a large state, has very little water. Its surface water area is about 250 square miles. The New Mexican landscape ranges from wide, rose-colored deserts to broken mesas to high, snow-capped peaks. Despite New Mexico's arid image, heavily forested mountain wildernesses cover a significant portion of the state, especially towards the north. The Sangre de Cristo Mountains, the southernmost part of the Rocky Mountains, run roughly north-south along the east side of the Rio Grande in the rugged, pastoral north. The most important of New Mexico's rivers are the Rio Grande, Pecos, Canadian, San Juan, and Gila. The Rio Grande is tied for the fourth longest river in the United States. The U.S. government protects millions of acres of New Mexico as national forests, including
Areas managed by the National Park Service include Visitors also frequent the surviving native pueblos of New Mexico. Tourists visiting these sites bring significant money to the state. Other areas of geographical and scenic interest include Kashikachawi Tent Rocks National Monument and the Gila Wilderness in the southwest of the state. The climate of New Mexico is generally semi-arid to arid, though areas of continental and alpine climates exist, and its territory is mostly covered by mountains, high plains, and desert. The Great Plains are in eastern New Mexico, similar to the Colorado High Plains in eastern Colorado. The two states share similar terrain with both having plains, mountains, basins, mesas, and desert lands. New Mexico's average precipitation rate is 13.9 inches a year. The average annual temperatures can range from 64 degrees Fahrenheit in the southeast to below 40 degrees Fahrenheit in the northern mountains. During the summer, Daytime temperatures can often exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit at elevations below 5,000 feet, the average high temperature in July ranges from 97 degrees Fahrenheit at the lower elevations down to 78 degrees Fahrenheit at the higher elevations. Many cities in New Mexico can have temperature lows in the teens. The highest temperature recorded in New Mexico was 122 degrees Fahrenheit at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant near Loving on June 27, 1994, and the lowest recorded temperature is 50 degrees F at Gavilan on February 1, 1951. Astronomical observatories in New Mexico take advantage of unusually clear skies, including the Apache Point Observatory, the Very Large Array, the Magdalena Ridge Observatory, and others. New Mexico contains extensive habitat for many plants and animals, especially in desert areas and pinyon juniper woodlands. Creosote bush, mesquite, cacti, yucca, and desert grasses, including black grama, purple threon, tobasa, and burro grass, cover the broad, semi-arid plains of the southern portion of the state. The northern portion of the state is home to many tree species such as ponderosa pine, aspen, cottonwood, spruce, fir, and Russian olive, which is an invasive species. Native birds include the greater roadrunner and wild turkey. Other fauna present in New Mexico include black bears, cougars, jaguars, coyotes, porcupines, skunks, Mexican gray wolves, deer, elk, plains bison, collared peccary, bighorn sheep, squirrels, chipmunks, pronghorns, western diamondbacks kangaroo rats, jackrabbits, and a multitude of other birds, reptiles, and rodents. The black bear native to New Mexico, Ursus americanus amliceps, was formally adopted as the state's official animal in 1953. The first known inhabitants of New Mexico were members of the Clovis culture of Palea Indians, 19 later inhabitants include American Indians of the Mogollon and ancestral Pueblo peoples cultures, 52 by the time of European contact in the 16th century, the region was settled by the villages of the Pueblo peoples and groups of Navajo, Apache, and Ute, 6,48. Francisco Vázquez de Coronado assembled an enormous expedition at Compostela in 1540-1542 to explore and find the mythical seven golden cities of Cibola as described by Fray Marcos de Niza, 1924 The name Nuevo Mexico was first used by a seeker of gold mines named Francisco de Ibarra, who explored far to the north of New Spain in 1563 and reported his findings as being in a New Mexico. 
Wanda Onate officially established the name when he was appointed the first governor of the new province of New Mexico in 1598, 3637 the same year, he founded the San Juan de los Caballeros colony, the first permanent European settlement in the future state of New Mexico, on the Rio Grande near Oko and Je Pueblo, 3708 extended El Camino Real de Tierra Adentro, Royal Road of the Interior, by 700 miles from Santa Barbara, Chihuahua, to his remote colony, 49. The settlement of Santa Fe was established at the foot of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, the southernmost subrange of the Rocky Mountains, around 1608, 182 the city, along with most of the settled areas of the state was abandoned by the Spanish for 12 years as a result of the successful Pueblo Revolt. After the death of the Pueblo leader Pope, Diego de Vargas restored the area to Spanish rule, 6875 while developing Santa Fe as a trade center, the returning settlers founded Albuquerque in 1706 from existing surrounding communities. 84 naming it for the Viceroy of New Spain, Francisco Fernández de la Cueva, 10th Duke of Albuquerque. As a part of New Spain, the claims for the province of New Mexico passed to independent Mexico in 1821 following the Mexican War of Independence, 109 The Republic of Texas claimed the portion east of the Rio Grande when it seceded from Mexico in 1836, when it incorrectly assumed the older Hispanic settlements of the upper Rio Grande were the same as the newly established Mexican settlements of Texas. Texas' only attempt to establish a presence or control in the claimed territory was the failed Texan Santa Fe expedition. Their entire army was captured and jailed by Hispanic New Mexico militia. At the turn of the 19th century, the extreme northeastern part of New Mexico, north of the Canadian River and east of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, was still claimed by France, which sold it in 1803 to the United States as part of the Louisiana Purchase. The United States assigned this portion of New Mexico as part of the Louisiana Territory until 1812, that year Louisiana was admitted as a state. The U.S. then reclassified this area as part of the Missouri Territory. This region of the state was ceded to Spain under the Adamsanis Treaty in 1819. The Independent Republic of Texas also claimed this portion of New Mexico. By 1800, the Spanish population had reached 25,000, but Apache and Comanche raids on Hispanic settlers were common until well into the period of U.S. occupation. Following the victory of the United States in the Mexican-American War, under the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848, Mexico ceded its northern holdings, today known as the American Southwest and California, to the United States of America. 132 The United States vowed to accept the residents' claims to their lands and to accept them as full citizens with rights of suffrage. This acquisition of territory and residents resulted in Mexicans legally being classified as white, since at that time, in most of the southern United States, only whites could vote. Nevertheless, Texas and other western states raised barriers to voting and political participation by ethnic Mexicans, including barring them from serving on juries. After Texas was admitted as a state to the Union, it continued to claim the northeastern portion of present-day New Mexico. Finally, in the Compromise of 1850, Texas ceded these claims to the United States of the area in New Mexico lying east of the Rio Grande, in exchange for $10,135,000. 
Congress established the separate New Mexico Territory in September 1850. It included most of the present-day states of Arizona and New Mexico, and part of Colorado. When the boundary was fixed, a surveyor's error awarded the Permian Basin to the state of Texas. New Mexico dropped its claims to the Permian in a bid to gain statehood in 1911. In 1853, the United States acquired the mostly desert southwestern boot heel of the state and southern Arizona below the Gila River in the Gadsden Purchase. It wanted to control lands needed for the right-of-way in order to encourage construction of a transcontinental railroad, 136. New Mexico played a role in the Trans-Mississippi Theater of the American Civil War. Both Confederate and Union governments claimed ownership and territorial rights over New Mexico Territory. In 1861, the Confederacy claimed the Southern Tract as its own Arizona Territory and waged the ambitious New Mexico Campaign in an attempt to control the American Southwest and open up access to Union California. Confederate power in the New Mexico Territory was effectively broken after the Battle of Glorieta Pass in 1862. However, the Confederate territorial government continued to operate out of Texas, and Confederate troops marched under the Arizona flag until the end of the war. Additionally, more than 8,000 men from New Mexico Territory served in the Union Army. In the late 19th century, the majority of officially European-descended residents in New Mexico were ethnic Mexicans, many of whom had deep roots in the area from early Spanish colonial times. Politically, they still controlled most of the town and county offices through area elections, and wealthy sheep herder families commanded considerable influence. The Anglo-Americans tended to have more ties to the territorial governor and judges, who were appointed by officials out of the region. The two groups struggled for power and the future of the territory. The Anglo minority was outnumbered, but well organized and growing. Anglo Americans made distinctions between the wealthy Mexicans and poor, ill educated laborers. Congress admitted New Mexico as the 47th state in the Union on January 6, 1912, 166. European-American settlers in the state had an uneasy relationship with the large Native American tribes, most of whose members lived on reservations at the beginning of the 20th century. Although Congress passed a law in 1924 that granted all Native Americans with U.S. citizenship, as well as the right to vote in federal and state elections, New Mexico was among several states that restricted Indian voting by raising barriers to voter registration. Their constitution said that Indians who did not pay taxes could not vote, in their interpretation disqualifying those Native Americans who lived on reservations. A major oil discovery in 1928 brought prosperity to the state, especially Lee County and the town of Hobbs. The town was named after James Hobbs, a homesteader there in 1907. The Midwest State No. 1 well, begun in late 1927 with a standard cable tool drilling rig, revealed the first signs of oil from the Hobbs field on June 13, 1928. Drilled to 4,330 feet and completed a few months later. The well produced 700 barrels of oil per day on state land. The Midwest Refining Company's Hobbs well produced oil until 2002. The New Mexico Bureau of Mines and Mineral Resources called it the most important single discovery of oil in New Mexico's history. During World War II, the first atomic bombs were designed and manufactured at Los Alamos 
a site developed by the federal government specifically to support a high-intensity scientific effort to rapidly complete research and testing of this weapon. The first bomb was tested at Trinity site in the desert between Socorro and Alamogordo on what is now White Sands Missile Range, 179-180. Native Americans from New Mexico fought for the United States in both the First and Second World Wars. Veterans were disappointed to return and find their civil rights limited by state discrimination. In Arizona and New Mexico, veterans challenged state laws or practices prohibiting them from voting. In 1948, after veteran Miguel Trujillo, senior of Isleta Pueblo was told by the county registrar that he could not register to vote, he filed suit against the county in federal district court. A three-judge panel overturned as unconstitutional New Mexico's provisions that Indians who did not pay taxes could not vote. Carson National Forest, Cibola National Forest, Lincoln National Forest, Santa Fe National Forest, Gila National Forest, Gila Wilderness Government Politics Education Primary and Secondary Education Colleges and Universities Major State Universities Culture Art and Literature Sports State Government U.S. Government Tourism Aztec Ruins National Monument at Aztec, Bandelier National Monument in Los Alamos, Capelin Volcano National Monument near Capelin, Carlsbad Caverns National Park near Carlsbad, Chaco Culture National Historical Park at Najizi, El Camino Real de Tierra Adentro National Historic Trail, El Malpais National Monument in Grants, El Moro National Monument in Rama, Fort Union National Monument at Watrous, Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument near Silver City, Old Spanish National Historic Trail, Pecos. National Historical Park in Pecos, Petroglyph National Monument near Albuquerque, Salinas Pueblo Missions National Monument at Mountain Air, Santa Fe National Historic Trail, White Sands National Monument near Alamogordo, Rio Grande del Norte National Monument near Taos, Valles Caldera National Preserve. 82.6% White American, 10.6% American Indian and Alaska Native, 2.5% Black or African American, 1.7% Asian, 0.2% Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, 2.5% two or more races, 48.5% Hispanic or Latino, 38.1% White alone. Mexican, American Indian, German, Spanish and, English. Judge Phillips wrote, Any other citizen, regardless of race, in the state of New Mexico who has not paid one cent of tax of any kind or character, if he possesses the other qualifications, may vote. An Indian, and only an Indian, in order to meet the qualifications to vote must have paid a tax. How you can escape the conclusion that makes a requirement with respect to an Indian as a qualification to exercise the elective franchise and does not make that requirement with respect to the member of any race is beyond me. New Mexico has benefited greatly from federal government spending on major military and research institutions in the state. It is home to three Air Force bases, White Sands Missile Range and the Federal Research Laboratories Los Alamos National Laboratory and Sandia National Laboratories. The state's population grew rapidly after World War II, 
growing from 531,818 in 1940 to 1,819,046 in 2000. Both residents and businesses moved to the state, some northerners came at first for the mild winters, others for retirement. In the late 20th century, Native Americans were authorized by federal law to establish gaming casinos on their reservations under certain conditions, in states which had authorized such gaming. Such facilities have helped tribes close to population centers to generate revenues for reinvestment in economic development and welfare of their peoples. In the 21st century, Employment growth areas in New Mexico include microelectronics, call centers, and Indian casinos. The United States Census Bureau estimates that the population of New Mexico was 2,085,109 on July 1, 2015, a 1.26 percent increase since the 2010 United States Census. The 2000 United States Census recorded the population of New Mexico to be 1,819,046. Ten years later the 2010 United States Census recorded a population of 2,059,179, an 11.7% increase. Of the people residing in New Mexico, 51.4% were born in New Mexico, 37.9% were born in a different U.S. state, 1.1% were born in Puerto Rico, U.S. island areas, or born abroad to American parent, and 9.7% were foreign-born. As of May 1, 2010, 7.5% of New Mexico's population was reported as under 5 years of age, 25% under 18, and 13% were 65 or older. Women make up around 51% of the population. As of 2000, 8% of the residents of the state were foreign born. Among U.S. states, New Mexico has the highest percentage of Hispanic ancestry, at 47 percent. This classification covers people of very different cultures and histories, including descendants of Spanish colonists with deep roots in the region, and recent immigrants from a variety of nations in Latin America, each with their own cultures. According to the United States Census Bureau model-based small area income and poverty estimates, the number of persons in poverty has increased to 400,779 persons in 2010 from 2000. At that time, the estimated number of persons in poverty was recorded at 309,193. The latest available estimates for 2014 estimate the number of persons in poverty at 420,388. Note, births in table do not add up, because Hispanics are counted both by their ethnicity and by their race, giving a higher overall number. New Mexico is a majority-minority state. The U.S. Census Bureau estimated that 48% of the total 2015 population was Hispanic or Latino of any race, the highest of any state. The majority of Hispanics in New Mexico claim to be descendants of Spanish colonists who settled here during the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries. They speak New Mexican Spanish and slash or English at home. The state also has a large Native American population, second in percentage behind that of Alaska. The 2016 racial composition of the population was estimated to be. According to the United States Census Bureau, 1.5% of the population identifies as multiracial slash mixed race a population larger than both the Asian and NHPI population groups. 
In 2008, New Mexico had the highest percentage of Hispanics of any state, with 83% native-born and 17% foreign-born. According to the 2000 United States Census, six the most commonly claimed ancestry groups in New Mexico were According to the 2010 U.S. Census, 28.45% of the population aged 5 and older speak Spanish at home, while 3.50% speak Navajo. Speakers of New Mexican Spanish dialect are mainly descendants of Spanish colonists who arrived in New Mexico in the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries. New Mexican Spanish is an archaic form of 17th century Castilian Spanish. The original state constitution of 1912 provided for a bilingual government with laws being published in both English and Spanish. This requirement was renewed twice, in 1931 and 1943. Nonetheless, the constitution does not declare any language as official. While Spanish was permitted in the legislature until 1935, all state officials are required to have a good knowledge of English. Coborubius and Fishman therefore argue that New Mexico cannot be considered a bilingual state as not all laws are published in both languages. Others, such as Juan Perea, claim that the state was officially bilingual until 1953. In either case, Hawaii is the only state that remains officially bilingual in the 21st century. With regard to the judiciary, witnesses have the right to testify in either of the two languages, and monolingual speakers of Spanish have the same right to be considered for jury duty as do speakers of English. In public education, the state has the constitutional obligation to provide for bilingual education and Spanish-speaking instructors in school districts where the majority of students are Hispanophone. In 1995, the state adopted an official bilingual song, New Mexico Mi Lindo Nuevo Mexico. 75,81 in 1989. New Mexico became the first state to officially adopt the English Plus Resolution, and in 2008, the first to officially adopt a Navajo textbook for use in public schools. According to Association of Religion Data Archives, the largest denominations in 2010 were the Catholic Church with 684,941, the Southern Baptist Convention with 113,452, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints with 67,637, and the United Methodist Church with 36,424 adherents. According to a 2008 survey by the Pew Research Center, the most common self-reported religious affiliation of New Mexico residents are mentioned in reference. Within the hierarchy of the Catholic Church, New Mexico belongs to the ecclesiastical province of Santa Fe. New Mexico has three dioceses, one of which is an archdiocese, Archdiocese of Santa Fe, Diocese of Gallup, Diocese of Las Cruces. Oil and gas production, tourism, and federal government spending are important drivers of the state economy. State government has an elaborate system of tax credits and technical assistance to promote job growth and business investment, especially in new technologies. In 2010 New Mexico's gross domestic product was $80 billion and an estimated $85 billion for 2013. In 2007 the per capita personal income was $31,474. In 2005 the percentage of persons below the poverty level was 18.4%. 
The New Mexico Tourism Department estimates that in fiscal year 2006 the travel industry in New Mexico generated expenditures of $6.5 billion. As of April 2012, the state's unemployment rate was 7.2 percent. During the late 2000s recession New Mexico's unemployment rate peaked at 8.0 percent for the period June-October 2010. New Mexico is the fourth leading crude oil and eighth leading natural gas producer in the United States. The Permian Basin and San Juan Basin lie partly in New Mexico. In 2006 New Mexico accounted for 3.4% of the crude oil, 8.5% of the dry natural gas, and 10.2% of the natural gas liquids produced in the United States. In 2000 the value of oil and gas produced was $8.2 billion. Federal government spending is a major driver of the New Mexico economy. In 2005 the federal government spent $2.03 on New Mexico for every dollar of tax revenue collected from the state. This rate of return is higher than any other state in the union. Many of the federal jobs relate to the military, the state hosts three Air Force bases, a testing range, and an Army Proving Ground and Maneuver range. A May 2005 estimate by New Mexico State University is that 11.65% of the state's total employment arises directly or indirectly from military spending. Other federal installations include the Technology Labs of Los Alamos National Laboratory and Sandia National Laboratories. New Mexico provides a number of economic incentives to businesses operating in the state, including various types of tax credits and tax exemptions. Most of the incentives are based on job creation. New Mexico law allows governments to provide land, buildings, and infrastructure to businesses to promote job creation. Several municipalities have imposed an economic development gross receipts tax that is used to pay for these infrastructure improvements and for marketing their areas. The state provides financial incentives for film production. The New Mexico Film Office estimated at the end of 2007 that the incentive program had brought more than 85 film projects to the state since 2003 and had added $1.2 billion to the economy. Since 2008, personal income tax rates for New Mexico have ranged from 1.7% to 4.9%, within four income brackets. As of 2007, active duty military salaries are exempt from state income tax. New Mexico imposes a gross receipts tax on many transactions, which may even include some governmental receipts. This resembles a sales tax but, unlike the sales taxes in many states, it applies to services as well as tangible goods. Normally. The provider or seller passes the tax on to the purchaser, however legal incidents and burden apply to the business, as an excise tax. GRT is imposed by the state and there may an additional locality component to produce a total tax rate. As of July 1, 2013 the combined tax rate ranged from 5.125% to 8.6875%. Property tax is imposed on real property by the state, by counties, and by school districts. In general, personal use personal property is not subject to property taxation. On the other hand, property tax is levied on most business use personal property. The taxable value of property is one-third of the assessed value. A tax rate of about 30 mils is applied to the taxable value, resulting in an effective tax rate of about 
In the 2005 tax year the average millage was about 26.47 for residential property and 29.80 for non-residential property. Assessed values of residences cannot be increased by more than 3% per year unless the residence is remodeled or sold. Property tax deductions are available for military veterans and heads of household. New Mexico has long been an important corridor for trade and migration. The builders of the ruins at Chaco Canyon also created a radiating network of roads from the mysterious settlement. Chaco Canyon's trade function shifted to Casas Grandes in the present-day Mexican state of Chihuahua, however, north-south trade continued. The pre-Columbian trade with Mesoamerican cultures included northbound exotic birds, seashells, and copper. Turquoise, pottery, and salt were some of the goods transported south along the Rio Grande. Present-day New Mexico's pre-Columbian trade is especially remarkable for being undertaken on foot. The north-south trade route later became a path for colonists with horses arriving from New Spain as well as trade and communication. The route was called El Camino Real de Tierra Adentro. The Santa Fe Trail was the 19th century U.S. territory's vital commercial and military highway link to the eastern United States. All with termini in northern New Mexico, the Camino Real, the Santa Fe Trail and the Old Spanish Trail are all recognized as national historic trails. New Mexico's latitude and low passes made it an attractive east-west transportation corridor. As a territory, the Gadsden Purchase increased New Mexico's land area for the purpose of the construction of a southern transcontinental railroad, that of the Southern Pacific Railroad. Another transcontinental railroad was completed by the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway. The railroads essentially replaced the earlier trails but brought on a population boom. Early transcontinental auto trails later crossed the state bringing more migrants. Railroads were later supplemented or replaced by a system of highways and airports. Today, New Mexico's interstate highways approximate the earlier land routes of the Camino Real, the Santa Fe Trail and the transcontinental railroads. New Mexico has had a problem with drunk driving but that has lessened. According to the Los Angeles Times, for years the state had the highest alcohol-related crash rates in the U.S., but ranked 25th in alcohol-related fatal crash rates, as of July 2009. The automobile changed the character of New Mexico, marking the start of large-scale immigration to the state from elsewhere in the United States. Settlers moving west during the Great Depression and post-World War II American culture immortalized the National Old Trails Highway, later U.S. Route 66. Today, the automobile is heavily relied upon in New Mexico for transportation. New Mexico had 59,927 route miles of highway as of 2000 of which 7,037 receive federal aid. In that same year there were 1,003 miles of freeways, of which 1,000 were the route miles of interstate highways 10, 25, and 40. The former number has increased with the upgrading of roads near Pochoke, Santa Fe, and Las Cruces to freeways. The highway traffic fatality rate was 1.9 fatalities per million miles traveled in 2000, the 13th highest rate among U.S. states. Notable bridges include the Rio Grande Gorge Bridge near Taos. As of 2001, 703 highway bridges, or 1%, were declared structurally deficient or structurally obsolete. Rural and intercity public transportation by road is provided by Americanos USA, LLC, Greyhound Lines, and several government operators.
The New Mexico Rail Runner Express is a commuter rail system serving the metropolitan area of Albuquerque, New Mexico. It began operation on July 14, 2006. The system runs from Belen to downtown Santa Fe. Larger cities in New Mexico typically have some form of public transportation by road, a BQ ride is the largest such system in the state. There were 2,354 route miles of railroads in the year 2000, this number increased with the opening of the Rail Runner S extension to Santa Fe. In addition to local railroads and other tourist lines, the state jointly owns and operates a heritage narrow gauge steam railroad, the Cumbers and Toltec Scenic Railway, with the state of Colorado. Narrow gauge railroads once connected many communities in the northern part of the state, from Farmington to Santa Fe, 110 no fewer than 100 railroads of various names and lineage have operated in the jurisdiction at some point, 8 New Mexico's rail transportation system reached its height in terms of length following admission as a state. In 1914 11 railroads operated 3,124 route miles, 10. Railroad surveyors arrived in New Mexico in the 1850s. The first railroads incorporated in 1869, 9 the first operational railroad, the Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe Railway entered the territory by way of the lucrative and contested Raton Pass in 1878. It eventually reached El Paso, Texas in 1881 and with the Southern Pacific Railroad created the nation's second transcontinental railroad with a junction at Deming. The Southern Pacific Railroad entered the territory from the territory of Arizona in 1889. 18, 58, 59 The Denver and Rio Grande Railway, who would generally use narrow gauge equipment in New Mexico, entered the territory from Colorado and began service to Española on December 31, 1880. 95, 96 These first railroads were built as long distance corridors, later, railroad construction also targeted resource extraction. 8, 11. New Mexico is served by two Class I railroads, the BNSF Railway and the Union Pacific Railroad. Combined, they operate 2,200 route miles of railway in the state. A commuter rail operation, the New Mexico Rail Runner Express, connects the state's capital, its largest city, and other communities. The privately operated state-owned railroad began operations in July 2006. The BNSF Railway's entire line from Belen to Raton, New Mexico was sold to the state, partially for the construction of Phase 2 of this operation, which opened in December 2008. Phase 2 of Rail Runner extended the line northward to Santa Fe from the Sandoval County Station the northernmost station under Phase I service. The service now connects Santa Fe, Sandoval, Bernalillo, and Valencia counties. The trains connect Albuquerque's population base and central business district to downtown Santa Fe with up to eight round trips in a day. The section of the line running south to Belen is served less frequently. Rail Runner operates scheduled service seven days per week. With the rise of rail transportation many settlements grew or were founded and the territory became a tourist destination. As early as 1878, the ATSF promoted tourism in the region with emphasis on Native American imagery, 64 named trains often reflected the territory they traveled, Super Chief the streamlined successor to the chief, Navajo, an early transcontinental tourist train, and Cavern, a through-car operation connecting Clovis and Carlsbad, 4950, 
51 were some of the named passenger trains of the ATSF that connoted New Mexico. Passenger train service once connected nine of New Mexico's present ten most populous cities, while today passenger train service connects two, Albuquerque and Santa Fe. With the decline of most intercity rail service in the United States in the late 1960s, New Mexico was left with minimal services. No less than six daily long-distance round-trip trains supplemented by many branch line and local trains served New Mexico in the early 1960s. Declines in passenger revenue, but not necessarily ridership, prompted many railroads to turn over their passenger services in truncated form to Amtrak, a state-owned enterprise. Amtrak, also known as the National Passenger Railroad Corporation, began operating the two extant long-distance routes in May 1971. Resurrection of passenger rail service from Denver to El Paso, a route once plied in part by the ATSF's El Pasoan, 37 has been proposed over the years. As early as the 1980s former Governor Tony Anaya proposed building a high-speed rail line connecting the two cities with New Mexico's major cities. Front Range Commuter Rail is a project to connect Wyoming and New Mexico with high-speed rail. Amtrak's Southwest Chief passes through daily at stations in Gallup, Albuquerque, Lamy, Las Vegas, and Raton offering connections to Los Angeles, Chicago, and intermediate points. The Southwest Chief is a fast Amtrak long-distance train, being permitted a maximum speed of 90 miles per hour in various places on the tracks of the BNSF Railway. It also operates on New Mexico Rail Runner Express trackage. The Southwest Chief is the successor to the Super Chief and El Capitan. 115 The Streamliner Super Chief, a favorite of early Hollywood stars, was one of the most famous named trains in the United States and one of the most esteemed for its luxury and exoticness train cars were named for regional Native American tribes and outfitted with the artwork of many local artists but also for its speed, as few as 39 hours 45 minutes westbound. The Sunset Limited makes stops three times a week in both directions at Lordsburg and Deming, serving Los Angeles, New Orleans, and intermediate points. The Sunset Limited is the successor to the Southern Pacific Railroad S train of the same name and operates exclusively on Union Pacific trackage in New Mexico. The Albuquerque International Sunport is the state's primary port of entry for air transportation. Upham, near Truth or Consequences is the location of the world's first operational and purpose-built commercial spaceport, Spaceport America. Rocket launches began in April 2007. It is undeveloped and has one tenant, Up Aerospace launching small payloads. Virgin Galactic, a space tourism company, plans to make this their primary operating base. The Constitution of New Mexico established New Mexico's governmental structure. The executive branch of government is fragmented as outlined in the state constitution. The executive is composed of the governor and other statewide elected officials including the lieutenant governor, attorney general, secretary of state, state auditor, state treasurer, and commissioner of public lands. The governor appoints a cabinet that leads agencies statutorily designated under his slash her jurisdiction. The New Mexico legislature consists of the House of Representatives and Senate. The judiciary is composed of the New Mexico Supreme Court and lower courts. There is also local government, consisting of counties, municipalities, and special districts. Current Governor Susana Martinez and Lieutenant Governor John Sanchez, 
were first elected in 2010 and re-elected in 2014. Terms for both the Governor and Lieutenant Governor expire in January 2019. Governors serve a term of four years and may seek re-election for one additional term. Other constitutional officers, all of whose terms also expire in January 2019, include Secretary of State Maggie Toulouse Oliver, Attorney General Hector Balderas, State Auditor Wayne Johnson, State Land Commissioner Aubrey Dunn, and State Treasurer Tim Eichenberg. Currently, both chambers of the New Mexico State Legislature have Democratic majorities. There are 26 Democrats and 16 Republicans in the Senate, and 38 Democrats and 32 Republicans in the House of Representatives. New Mexico's members of the United States Senate are Democrats Martin Heinrich and Tom Udall. Democrats Michelle Lujan Grisham, and Ben R. Lujan represent the 1st and 3rd Congressional Districts, respectively, and Republican Steve Pierce represents the 2nd Congressional District in the United States House of Representatives. See New Mexico Congressional Map New Mexico had been considered a swing state, whose population has favored both Democratic and Republican presidential candidates, but it became more of a Democratic stronghold after the presidential election of 2008. The governor is Susana Martinez, who succeeded Bill Richardson on January 1, 2011 after he served two terms as governor from 2003 to 2011. Before Richardson, Gary Johnson served as governor from 1995 to 2003. Johnson served as a Republican, but in 2012 and 2016, he ran for president from the Libertarian Party. In previous presidential elections, Al Gore carried the state in 2000, George W. Bush won New Mexico's five electoral votes in 2004, and the state's electoral votes were won by Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton in 2008, 2012, and 2016. Since achieving statehood in 1912, New Mexico has been carried by the national popular vote victor in every presidential election of the past 104 years except 1976, when Gerald Ford won the state by 2% but lost the national popular vote by 2%. Democratic strongholds in the state include the Santa Fe area, various areas of the Albuquerque metro area, northern and west central New Mexico and most of the Native American reservations, particularly the Navajo Nation. Republicans have traditionally had their strongholds in the eastern and southern parts of the state, the Farmington area, Rio Rancho, and the newly developed areas in the northwest Mesa. Albuquerque's Northeast Heights have historically leaned Republican, but have become a key swing area for Democrats in recent election cycles. While registered Democrats outnumber registered Republicans by nearly 200,000, New Mexico voters have favored moderate to conservative candidates of both parties at the state and federal levels. On major political issues, New Mexico abolished its death penalty statute, though not retroactively, effective July 1, 2009. This means individuals on New Mexico's death row can still be executed. On March 18, 2009, then-Governor Bill Richardson signed the law abolishing the death penalty in New Mexico following the Assembly and Senate vote the week before, thus becoming the 15th U.S. state to abolish the penalty. On gun control New Mexico arguably has some of the least restrictive firearms laws in the country. State law preempts all local gun control ordinances. Unlike states with strong gun control laws, 
a New Mexico resident may purchase any firearm deemed legal under federal law. There are no waiting periods under state law for picking up a firearm after it has been purchased, and there are no restrictions on magazine capacity. Additionally, New Mexico allows open carry of a loaded firearm without a permit, and is shall issue for concealed carry permits. Before December 2013 New Mexico law neither explicitly allowed nor prohibited same-sex marriage. Policy concerning the issuance of marriage licenses to same-sex couples was determined at the county level, that is, some county clerks issued marriage licenses to same-sex couples, while others did not. In December 2013, the New Mexico Supreme Court issued a unanimous ruling directing all county clerks to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples, thereby making New Mexico the 17th state to recognize same-sex marriage at the statewide level. Due to its relatively low population in combination with numerous federally funded research facilities, New Mexico had the highest concentration of Ph.D. holders of any state in 2000. Despite this, the state routinely ranks near the bottom in surveys of quality of primary and secondary school education. New Mexico has a higher concentration of persons who do not finish high school or have some college without a degree than the nation as a whole. For the state, 23.9% of people over 25 years of age have gone to college but not earned a degree. This is compared with 21.0% of the nation as a whole according to United States Census Bureau 2014 American Community Survey estimates. Los Alamos County has the highest number percent of post-secondary degree holders of any county in New Mexico with 38.7% of the population estimated by the 2010-2014 American Community Survey. The New Mexico Public Education Department oversees the operation of primary and secondary schools. Zimmerman Library at the University of New Mexico Zool Library at New Mexico State University Walkway Outside Golden Library at Eastern New Mexico University Donnelly Library at New Mexico Highlands University with a Native American population of 134,000 in 1990, New Mexico still ranks as an important center of Native American culture. Both the Navajo and Apache share Athabascan origin. The Apache and some Ute live on federal reservations within the state. With 16 million acres, mostly in neighboring Arizona, the reservation of the Navajo Nation ranks as the largest in the United States. The prehistorically agricultural Pueblo Indians live in Pueblos scattered throughout the state. Almost half of New Mexicans claim Hispanic origin, many are descendants of colonial settlers. They settled in the state's northern portion. Most of the Mexican immigrants reside in the southern part of the state. Also 10 to 15 percent of the population, mainly in the north, may contain Hispanic Jewish ancestry. Many New Mexicans speak a unique dialect of Spanish. Because of the historical isolation of New Mexico from other speakers of the Spanish language, some of the vocabulary of New Mexican Spanish is unknown to other Spanish speakers. It uses numerous Native American words for local features and includes anglicized words that express American concepts and modern inventions. Albuquerque has the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science, the National Hispanic Cultural Center, and the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History, as well as hosts the famed annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta every fall. The earliest New Mexico artists whose work survives today are the Mimbras Indians, who
whose black and white pottery could be mistaken for modern art, except for the fact that it was produced before 1130 CE. See Mimbris Culture Many examples of this work can be seen at the Deming Luna Mimbris Museum and at the Western New Mexico University Museum. A large artistic community thrives in Santa Fe, and has included such people as Bruce Nauman, Richard Tuttle, John Connell, and Steina Vesulka. The capital city has several art museums, including the New Mexico Museum of Art, Museum of Spanish Colonial Art, Museum of International Folk Art, Museum of Indian Arts and Culture, Museum of Contemporary Native Arts, Site Santa Fe and others. Colonies for artists and writers thrive, and the small city teams with art galleries. In August, the city hosts the annual Santa Fe Indian Market which is the oldest and largest juried Native American art showcase in the world. Performing arts include the renowned Santa Fe Opera which presents five operas in repertory each July to August, the Santa Fe Chamber Music Festival held each summer, and the restored Lensic Theatre a principal venue for many kinds of performances. Santa Fe is also home to Frogville Records, an indie record label. The weekend after Labor Day boasts the burning of Zozabra, a 50-feet marionette, during Fiestas de Santa Fe. Art is also a frequent theme in Albuquerque, New Mexico's largest city. The National Hispanic Cultural Center has held hundreds of performing arts events, art showcases, and other events related to Spanish culture in New Mexico and worldwide in the Centerpiece Roy E. Disney Center for the Performing Arts or in other venues at the 53-acre facility. New Mexico residents and visitors alike can enjoy performing art from around the world at Pope Joy Hall on the campus of the University of New Mexico. Pope Joy Hall hosts singers, dancers, Broadway shows, other types of acts, and Shakespeare. Albuquerque also has the unique and memorable Chemo Theater built in 1927 in the Pueblo Revival-style architecture. The Chemo presents live theater and concerts as well as movies and simulcast operas. In addition to other general interest theaters, Albuquerque also has the African American Performing Arts Center and Exhibit Hall which showcases achievements by people of African descent and the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center which highlights the cultural heritage of the First Nations people of New Mexico. New Mexico holds strong to its Spanish heritage. Old Spanish traditions such as Arzuelas and Flamenco are popular in New Mexico. Flamenco dancer and native New Mexican Maria Benitez founded the Maria Benitez Institute for Spanish Arts to present programs of the highest quality of the rich artistic heritage of Spain as expressed through music, dance, visual arts, and other art forms. There is also the Festival Flamenco Internacional de Albuquerque held each year in which native Spanish and New Mexican flamenco dancers perform at the University of New Mexico. In the mid-20th century there was a thriving Hispano school of literature and scholarship being produced in both English and Spanish. Among the more notable authors were, Angelico Chavez, Nina Otero Warren, Fabiola Cabeza de Baca, Aurelio Espinosa, Cleo Faz Jaramillo, Juan Bautista Rael, and Aurora Lucero Whiteley. As well, Writer D. H. Lawrence lived near Taos in the 1920s at the D. H. Lawrence Ranch where there is a shrine said to contain his ashes. New Mexico's strong Spanish, Native American, and Wild West frontier motifs have provided material for many authors in the state, including internationally recognized Rudolfo Anaya and Tony Hillerman. Silver City, in the southwestern mountains of the state, was originally a mining town, and at least one nearby mine still operates. 
It is perhaps better known now as the home of an slash or exhibition center for large numbers of artists, visual and otherwise. Another former mining town turned art haven is Madrid, New Mexico. It was brought to national fame as the filming location for the movie Wild Hogs in 2007. The city of Las Cruces, in southern New Mexico, has a museum system that is affiliated with the Smithsonian Institution Affiliations Program. Las Cruces also has a variety of cultural and artistic opportunities for residents and visitors. Aside from the aforementioned Wild Hogs, other movies filmed in New Mexico include Sunshine Cleaning and Vampires. The various seasons of the A&E slash Netflix series Longmire have been filmed in several locations in New Mexico, including Las Vegas, Santa Fe, Eagle Nest, and Red River. No major league professional sports teams are based in New Mexico, but the Albuquerque Isotopes are a Pacific Coast League AAA baseball affiliate of the MLB Colorado Rockies. New Mexico is home to several baseball teams of the Pecos League, Santa Fe Fuego, Roswell Invaders, and the White Sands Pup Fish. The Duke City Gladiators of the CIF are an indoor football team that plays their home games at the Tingley Coliseum. The Albuquerque Soul FC are a soccer club that plays in the PDL. Collegiate athletics in New Mexico involve various University of New Mexico Lobos and New Mexico State Aggies teams in many sports. For many years the two universities have had a rivalry often referred to as the Rio Grande rivalry or the Battle of I-25 in recognition of the campuses both located along that interstate highway. NMSU also has a rivalry with the University of Texas at El Paso that is called the Battle of I-10. The winner of the NMSU UTEP football game receives the Silver Spade Trophy. Olympic gold medalist Tom Yeager, who is an advocate of controversial high-altitude training for swimming, has conducted training camps in Albuquerque and Los Alamos. NRA Whittington Center in Raton is the United States' largest and most comprehensive competitive shooting range and training facility. Primary Sources Coordinates, 34 degrees north 106 degrees west slash 34 degrees north 106 degrees west slash 34, 106.